Okay, that's a little bit better. Hopefully it'll work out better. But anyway, um, welcome back to Terraria. And in today's episode, I do have a little bit of a plan of what I want to do. And uh, mostly it's refurbish the house. You know, like make it look better. Rather than so meh. Because right now it looks kind of like I, I just freaking just threw it all together. Just like, I found this new house and I just moved in. I just threw in all sorts of stuff. It maybe kind of organized a little bit here or there. But then again, I wouldn't know. I never really moved out of my place yet. But I never, I never moved in my life. We'll just leave it at that. But anyway. Ooh, fallen star in here. Do I have any more fallen stars hitting around in here? No. It'd be awesome if I did. Because I could get that mana star thing dealt with. But anyway, i um, thinking of maybe, my plan with the Dryad is to maybe try and, like, maybe put some doors here and here, and have her uh, try and move into here. That's just an idea, though. I don't know if it'll actually work or not, but I was thinking of giving it a try, because quite frankly, uh, I prefer, like I keep saying, I think I'd prefer to have her in, like, the center of my freaking house. And all the other stuff. But, again, uh, yeah. I, how do I make another fireplace again, by the way? I don't freaking remember. Let's see here. Uh, I think I need a uh, freaking stone brick, right? Probably do. And again, the hell if I would remember. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh yeah, that's right, NPCs can actually sit and use the furniture too. That's cool. I remember that now. Okay, I need to make a boatload of stone bricks here. Okay, I think that'll be good. Otherwise, I will freaking look this up right now. I actually, you know what? I have my laptop right here. I'm gonna go ahead and look this crap up right now. Terraria Fireplace. Uh, oh, wow, apparently there's a chimney, too. How do you make this? Okay, you need ten. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, so yeah, I just need wood. Anyway, what's today's plans for this episode? Well, in this episode, I plan on, uh, you know, trying to freaking refurbish the house and also try and get somewhere in this game. Let's just put it that way. Like, I'm kind of sick and tired of, like, feeling as if I've accomplished nothing, for the most part, in all these episodes. And it's about time I try and do something about that. But, of course, obviously, first I'd like to try and, uh, get my house looking semi-decent before I go get ready for any boss fights. Because that's pretty much what I also want to do today, is try and prep and get ready and prepped for... Uncoming uh, boss fights with like the uh, um, brain of Cthulhu and stuff like that. So it's it's all good. Oh wow, traveling merchant. Or I've been getting him a lot lately. Like, what have I done to deserve this? I should do it more often. What's that? A diamond ring. <gasps> Two platinum. I can't afford it, and it's freaking useless to be honest. Pink team block. Shingles, Dynasty Wood, Foe, and Tie. Pad Tie. Uh, no offense, those are kind of useless to me. But I appreciate you stopping by. You do have some good shit from time to time, give you that. Okay, I want to try and make this look semi symmetrical and decent looking, you know. Is that a lot to ask for? I hope not. <laughs> okay, is there like a too wide sitting thing? Probably not. Everything's either like one or three. Actually, I could probably put a workbench in the middle. Mayhaps. How do I make stone brick again? Oh, here we go. What do I need for gray brick? Ah, okay. I think that's all I will be needing for this, because 
what I want to do is try and add some doors here and here. In order to do that, I need to have a place to put them, obviously. For now, I'll just set all that stuff over there. Just kind of clean out this main area here. Make it look good. Can I loot all? Beautiful. A perfectly full inventory. Fudge in hell. Okay, quick stack. Quick stack this too. There, that's a lot better. Yeah, give me that chest. But yeah, I'm hoping to not take any longer than half the episode, but so far it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So, yeah, I don't need to die on me anymore, because I already have the guy moved in. I'll take this. This I'll leave, like, in the corner here so I can remember those. Uh, glass. I actually could use some of that. Oh, where's the marble? I do know I've left over marble here. There we are. I think I'll go ahead and make a marble workbench. That'll be the centerpiece here, because I think that would look pretty badass. Like, look at this. Looks badass to me. Put the piggy bank right in the middle here, too. Beautiful! A beautiful centerpiece. Now I just need some furniture. Okay. Should I go fancy with couches and stuff? Yeah. Why not? Why not? This is my house. I can do whatever the hell I please. Of course, I might... I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty much that. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna need to get some more wood soon. Oh. Wait, wait, I wanted to make some doors. Hold on, what do I need for this? I need to make it elsewhere, don't I? Wait, at an anvil? No, at a workbench. There we go. Yeah, I want to make some marble doors. Only for this main empty area here. So I think it'd look pretty cool. It's kind of dark right there. Oh, it's right here. It seems pretty fine. I should also add some windows up here in the middle here as well. Because I think that would also liven it up a bit. And I wouldn't need as many freaking torches. So yeah, that's definitely something I will probably work on. Because to be honest, I want to do more than just freaking place a couple blocks and do you know just make it look better obviously it needs to get done sooner or later but it's like at the same time I don't want to spend the whole damn episode doing that because I feel as if that's just boring and kind of cheap so go do this and then now we go ahead and uh, put this here a freaking laptop forgot to turn muted or whatever so professional, right? I come prepared and everything. <laughs> okay, now I should be able to get rid of the torch. Yeah, there we go. If it comes nighttime, it's like whatever. It can be a little bit darker in here. It doesn't need to be a freaking like a city or anything like that where it has to be brightly lit at all times. Okay. Put some we'll put some windows in the basement here cuz I do know that's a thing. Obviously, the, the, the basement slash dungeon area, I would expect to have a boatload of torches, because it's always going to be dark down here. But whatever, this this is looking pretty decent, if I have to say. This is actually looking very decent. There's torches all over the place and stuff, so it's like, eh, it works out. Okay, sawmill. Oh, what, marble bed? Jesus, look at that. That's freaking... Freaking something else. Oh, uh, here we are. Sofa. Boom, boom. Yes, two sofas. I think we can go ahead and do that. And is there like a way to place plants, maybe? Oh, a painter. What? Oh, you can't. You can live in the middle. That's freaking dope. I'm having my. My dryad live in the middle, and I'll have a, my painter live elsewhere. Like, as soon as I placed down the furniture, he almost moved it instantly. Almost. I say almost because it was after I placed the second couch, and I only needed to place the first. Okay, I need another wooden door. Here we are. 
cool. Okay. I need a freaking. I think I'll have him live up here. Yeah. He can live there. Oh god, I had some leg spikage there. There's a wooden chair. Feels kind of original. A bookcase I'm trying to save for like a library area or whatever, for like the wizard or something. I want to kind of keep in theme with the NPCs. I also don't want to freaking take all damn day doing this episode either. <laughs> it's already. I have a feeling this is already gonna not be too grand in any way. Okay, so now what am I in need of? The hell if I would remember. Curses. Oh god, leg spikage. I hope it doesn't affect the audio too much, because I tried test recording earlier, it was something else. Uh, what do we got for furniture options, anyway? Uh, okay, we're gonna see what I can craft here. Okay, I think it's, eh, it's not really buffing out too much. No, it's not. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, I refreshed the recording. So hopefully nothing bad is going to happen in regards to the audio and everything. Anyway, let's just take a look and see what we got here to work with. We got we got a bar here. We got some bar stools and stuff. Yeah, not bad. Oh, bathtub. <laughs> I could have him live in the bathroom, <laughs> apparently. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just see here. NPC house or something. I don't know. NPCs. Okay, let's just search NPC here. I, I'm looking this crap up on my laptop right now. What? Did they add any new NPCs? They probably did. Hold on. Tavern Keeper. What? Yeah. Uh, help summon and okay 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 amazing so yeah now I got a new NPC I need to freaking worry about so he can live in the tavern I'll make a tavern for sure like a dedicated tavern Uh, housing. Yes, house. I'd like to see what kind of furniture would be cap uh, compatible with this. Piano. Bath. Okay, bathtub is a doable thing. Okay, well, he's just gonna get a normal chair, I guess. Um, banquet table. Damn. Damn, dude. Alright, let's see here. I'm freaking taking so much goddamn time with this. I just should just, like, cut ahead mid set Okay, it took me long enough. But I decided to go ahead and just have... Use a table here so that the... Painter can live up here. And then the dryad can live down here in the middle. And in fact, the whole entire house with her special defensive buff ability thing during like a blood moon or something something else I would like to do in the future after I get a mechanic or whatever is maybe build a trap system so that if it's like a blood moon or something like that I can just like activate the traps and everything will just walk into lava fall into lava and I can get free drops because XP is not a thing in this game and etc etc but anyway uh, yeah that's just basically the outline of my plan here How much more do I plan on doing I think I'll only renovate the upstairs, because quite frankly, it's taking way too goddamn long. <laughs> so, got a shark statue. We got, do I have any paintings? No, I don't. Once I go down to the, the hell area, then yeah, I sure as hell will. Uh, star statue, that'll be good for spawning mana stars. A slime statue, same dealio. Put this back for now. Quick stack. Nothing happened. Sorry about that. Anyway. <clears throat> I 
maybe place some windows up there quick and then then I think I will go ahead and uh, go do some spelunking quickly so that I can get semi prepped to just jump right in and do some bossing or boss fights next next episode because quite frankly I feel as if we've been just sitting around here for too damn long doing nothing so yeah just feel as if I've been trying to accomplish something Thorns potion, yeah. Attackers also take damage, yeah. Okay, recall. Okay, that I can sell, because I have a freaking mirror now. Any recall potions, I'm automatically either dropping, deleting, or selling. Actually, I could still drop. Well, yeah, dropping, I could get back if I needed. Actually, better idea here. Place a torch there, a torch there. Stay in the middle, we'll place it on the walls here. There. I think this is pretty well lit. For the most part. So yeah, these torches here. I might go ahead and get rid of these. Still looks pretty damn decent. I don't know. I guess I'll just have to see how it looks in nighttime and then do some more there. But otherwise, I think that'll be it for this. So I think I will go ahead, cut ahead to where I get deep enough underground to actually do some spelunking. Yeah, freaking desert biome over here, and I'm not fond of it at all. I freaking hate the damn desert. Freaking bullshittery right here. Of course, when I get stronger, I'll probably eventually go back over there for some other stuff. But other than that, probably not anytime soon. So yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna go down here. So I will be right back. All right, we're back. And uh, oh crap! I forgot about that. Get rid of that. Fudge in hell. Well, we are technically deep enough to go ahead and uh, just explore this area. A bit. Oh, can I do this? No, I'm I'm too light for that. Yeah, it's darker than she is. I'm gonna go ahead and place a torch like right here. Oh, come on now! Oh, there we go. Beautiful. So now let's go down here. Let's see what's in store for me here. Hey, look, a goldfish. This far deep? Jesus. There's a spiked slime there. I got magic, bitch. Get on my level. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, don't. I'm not ready for that shit yet. Okay, it's nighttime. So, I guess when I go back up, I can quickly take a look and see how it looks if, if it's still nighttime by then. Where you jackass? Piss off. Freaking sheep! I know that isn't what it technically is called, but that's what it looks like to me. A flinx? It's dead now. Place a torch there so I can at least know what's down there without having to look at my map. Even though I'm playing wizard class, it still comes in handy to have a, a, a melee weapon of some sort. Okay, for fudge's sake! This trajectory is crap. So that's all that's up there. There's a vase and whatnot, so let's see here. What else do I have going for me here? I'm still kind of cold, Jesus. I saw that bug too, so I can get some cyan dye from it. Hello. No, oh, don't get any ideas. Die. Give me that cyan hus husk. Hulsk? What's a hulsk? That's I'd like to know. <laughs> Look at all these dart traps. <laughs> By the way, I'm leaving the dart traps. The actual dart traps is because when I find the mechanic and I come back down here, I can get some free wire. So it's more free stuff for me, right? 
That's what I, I was thinking. Ow, balls. That hurt. Okay, I see where I need to go. Down the... Oh, come on now. Back off. My magic definitely does a lot more damage than this freaking sword, though. That's for sure. Die, you dumb thing. All right. Don't know how long I've been recording for, by the way. I haven't actually checked. Ooh, lava. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're getting close to lava level. I remember now. Why is it, like, completely pitch black below me? That makes me feel a little bit uneased here. Actually, what? No, I don't want to place torches on the ground because in case there's water that flows down on it or whatever. Yeah, I prefer to keep my torches in place. See, I'm just going to keep digging here. Because I do see some tungsten, I think that is. Right down here. I think that is. Oh, I also combined apparently Crimpton with the gold pick. So yeah, that's something I just remembered. Because I did mine some earlier. Right here, it's, you can see Crimpton ore. So it's it's all good. I can actually mine it, so that's good. If I see any, I'll try and mine it now. Even though it'll be useless later on, other than for my money. Money is pretty good. I might still collect like try and get a full stack for shits and gigs when I get in hard mode. Because by then, it'll be kind of useless. I don't have a lava charm, so... Yeah, playing in lava would be a very bad idea. So yeah, from that point downward, there's gonna be no water whatsoever. Pretty much. Anyway, I'm gonna just keep digging. Obviously, we've got to get somewhere. Aha! Okay, I'm not gonna go for that tungsten right now. Because, quite frankly, gold is better than tungsten. In this game, at least. Okay, keep digging down here. There's a boatload of it, even underneath that lava. If I had a lava charm, I'd be a little bit more willing to go ahead and, you know, risk my life. But I don't have that kind of luxury, unfortunately, so I have to suffice with what I got. There's a granite biome nearby. Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. God. There's a granite biome nearby, so I can get some granite. Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> God, I'm freaking still kind of like trying to calm down from that. There's a worm. God, Luckily, the worm deals like no damage. Oh, come on, I hit you. That's a lot of horseshit. Oh, there we go. Die, dumbass worm. Okay, where's the granite biome? It's nearby here. That's all I know. Otherwise, it, I'll know when I see it. It's like dark purple or something like that. Uh, I haven't ran into another one of those elementals, so it might be a little bit further up. I do know you can farm granite. And I'd like to use granite for my deeper dungeon floors. For sure. Uh, the fuck was that? It Whatever it was, it's dead. Because it was dumb and fell in the lava. Okay, there's a granite biome somewhere up there. Because I haven't ran into another one of those things, and they only spawn in granite biomes, I'm pretty positive. I could relook it up. Because I think there... Oh, oh, there is one. It's further down. I think, did they, like, nerf their health? Because I remember they had a shit ton before. Yeah, see? Granite block. I think it might be further down, actually, now, thinking about it. Hello. You. Die. 
God damn. You are not loved. You are not wanted. You are a nuisance. You need to die. Right now. That thing has more health than a freaking elemental, that's for sure. Okay, it's somewhere over to the left. That's all I know. I'm trying to look at the minimap for hints. But, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll dig over there for a moment. If I don't find anything, I will have to probably call it an episode shortly, I would think. Because I've been doing this for like, it feels as if almost 30, maybe 40 minutes. That's what it feels like. I've only been spawned on with the, the thought for a little bit. Okay, I'm keeping my eyes peeled for those damn things. Because now I know to anticipate them, I'm not going to be so startled. But I probably still will be. Oh, I hear, I hear the golem. Oh yeah, there it is, right below me. Hello. Oh come, get the. Yeah, well, there's the granite biome right here. This is granite. I found the granite biome. You know what? Let's explore. Take this, loot it, light it up. Maybe call it an episode. Call it a successful episode. Yeah, you're dead. Get over it, you nerd. <laughs> this doesn't look like a very big one, to be honest, but whatever. Oh, never mind. I take it back. It is big. It's pretty big. I mean, magic can light up areas. Luckily, I have enough torches. Luckily. You die. Oh, God. This is a huge granite biome. And that's a marble biome over there, too. There's a marble biome right next door to the granite biome. So, the Medessa thing could actually spawn in here because it's close enough. Yes, I see you over here. You can die. Dude, look how freaking big. Dudes, look how freaking big this shit is. This is probably the biggest granite biome I've ever been in. I think this is a large world or something. No, I think this is a medium or a normal. Thinking about it now. It's like, what in the actual fuck? God. Dude, I thought this was small. No, this is frickin' humong- It's- it goes down where my mouse is. Like, almost the entire screen. This is Hugh frickin' Mungus. Okay, let's kill this elemental so I can go down. Proceed downward. Oh gosh. Oh, there's a how granite house down there. Dude. What in the hell? It's still going down. Okay, here's the bottom. Okay, let's just look at this. Look how big this is. This is you freaking mungus. I don't know about you guys, but it's huge. Okay, that's a dead zombie. Okay, that's lava too, and I don't have lava waders or a lava charm or anything. Maybe I'll find one in that chest right there. I know that's a chest because I've actually explored a granite biome before. Well, I have an umbrella, so let's take advantage of that. Slide on over here. Oh, I think there's a mushroom biome down below too. Yeah, right there. Haha, <laughs> I called it. Ow! Die! Well, uh, I don't know, guys. Should I explore this next episode? Or should I try and attempt the Brain of Cthulhu boss? I don't know. I think I'll let you guys decide this one. If you guys don't tell me anything. Oh my god. Money! Ah. But these are actually pretty good to have, I would think. So yeah, grab those. Not a control, not entirely a bust, but definitely, definitely still something to desire. Left to be desired. Platinum. Okay, we got a choice of platinum or silk. Oh, that's tin. So yeah, platinum it shall be. I do know the golems have a shitload of health. 
I haven't ran into any yet, so that's good. Oh, there's one right there. Granite Golem. Yeah, they have 110 HP, but they can block attacks. Oh, that guy. Never mind, he's dead. He is dead. Look at all the freaking bats. I'm hitting everything but the slime at this point. Hey, Gecko. Oh, uh, that's a salamander. It's a dead one, too. Can I throw that in there? It's dead. Did it drop a... Uh... Oh, that actually would be a very bad idea to go explore that. No, don't come down here! Ow, ow, you hurt a lot! Holy shit! They hit harder than a freaking truck! Jesus! I'm surprised I didn't die there, to be honest. I hit my panic H button, though, luckily. Rather than any other key. Everything doesn't hurt too bad, otherwise. Elemental I haven't really hit yet. I haven't fall fallen in lava, because that definitely hurts like a mofo. If, that, if there was something that I probably would hit harder than a frickin' golem, it might be the lava. Ow! You die? Please? Please? God! Everything's on a mission to piss me off. Which is not... Which happens very often, actually. You... Die! Oh, God. But yeah, like, seriously, I could just farm granite. If I want a block to use for decorations, for sure. Hey, bad, could you piss off? Like, seriously, piss off. I need to get back up. So we're gonna glide back over here. I want to try and light this whole entire area up, at least. Is that a lot to ask for? Maybe. Well, I got an umbrella, so... Oh, God! It's Tim! It's Tim! Eh! This is turning into a semi-successful freaking uh... Shit! Ow! I know I can actually hit these. Dumbass bat! Leave me alone! You won't die! I know he doesn't move if- okay. Seriously? Ooh, hat! Wizard hat! I want it! I, I need it! Oh god, this is gonna not- this is not gonna end well for me, is it? Okay. I pose myself. Yeah, that hits really hard! Oh god, fire, fire, fire! I got a wizard hat, though. Let's see, what do we got here? 7% uh, critic trance, increased magic damage. And the wizard hat. Yeah. I can still wear that, though, as a cosmetic. Though. Demolitionist! Hells to the yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm out of here. <laughs> to hell with this place. I'm out of there. Oh, I got. It was a little bit more successful than I anticipated. I didn't expect that much, but. Again, I think I'll let you guys answer the question. Uh, uh, answer this question for me. Uh, should I just say the heck with the I, uh, the brain of Cthulhu to, uh, next episode, or should I just should I just skip the boss fight or whatever, and, or should I just I don't know explore those biomes? Because there's actually a boatload to explore down there. Because we got the rest of that granite biome to light up. We got a mushroom biome here, and we got a marble biome here. And we got some other stuff right here. So this is probably the best find so far. Right here. It's not too far from hell either. So it's not going to be too far off from getting down there. I will, of course, eventually build a elevator when I get the proper equipment and stuff. But otherwise, yeah, let me know down below. If I don't get a reply, I will probably uh, think of something. But I will definitely accept any feedback from you guys for sure. But... Uh, yeah, when I come back next time, we will either do the boss fight or we'll explore the rest of that. I wouldn't mind exploring it first just so I can get a little bit more prepared and ready and stuff for the fight.
but again I'll just I, if you got any feedback feel free to, let, uh, to leave it down below otherwise thank you all for watching I will talk to you all later